Welcome back to the present. Unfortunate news, Moreno is injured, so his debut is going to be delayed by a few weeks. According to the report, we're hearing sketchy report that uh, Moreno got injured in training and Mikel Arteta in his press match, pre-match press conference has confirmed the dreaded news. Yesterday, he had a collusion and got a shoulder injury. He is going to be out for a few weeks. Uh, so it's unfortunate. Uh, you can't tell players not to train. You cannot. You can. This things happen. Uh, let's not uh, really exaggerate it. Do we have to re replace Moreno because of this shoulder injury? No. That is why we still found. Calm down. Don't be gaslit. It's unfortunate. It's injured. It's going to be out for a few weeks. This is not the kind of Tomiyasu kind of few weeks. So I hope uh, uh, as soon as the international break is over, <clears throat> perhaps we'll see uh, Moreno in Arsenal Colors play. Uh, maybe he's out for a month, but Ateta said he's out for a few weeks. Ah, oh my god, I did not even adhere to the routine here. Please, guys, like the video, very, very important. Uh, subscribe if you're new, and do not forget to turn on your notification bell one more time. Like the video, subscribe if you're new, and make sure you turn on your notification. So, fortunately for us, now we have covered there. Uh, there's Jorginho. Hopefully, Paddy can stay fit, especially when he's going for international break with Ghana. We are always praying and hoping Pate comes back in one piece. Uh, since the, the surgery, Pate has not shown signs of getting injured as often as it used to be. And see the fact that we've actually revamped our medical team, it looks like we are now taking more uh, progressive and we are now actually treating our players better and in kind of terms of recovery than the previous regime. So I am not too uh, livid about the, <coughs> the Moreno injury. A calm to the territory. So when people are shouting, go and get a striker. I understand that, but if you get a striker and gets injured, what do we do? Do we go and replace the striker we just bought? Do we have to replace Marino we just bought? These things happen. I remember last week before the game against uh last game we played against Wolves. No, no, Wolves was the first game. Uh who did they play last week? Why am I forgetting who they who we played last week? Guys, remind me in the comment section. Who, who did we play last week? I don't want to check. I'm trying to re rejuggle my memory. We played, played Wolves in the first game, and we played who last week. Why am I struggling? What has happened to my memory? Who did we play last week? Uh, who did we play last week? Aston Villa. Yes, I wasn't going to try and look at look it up. We played Aston Villa a we at the Villa Park. So I, I get it. We a lot of us are itching to see Moreno play in Aston Colors and see what's going to provide to the team. Unfortunately, his debut is going to be delayed by this shoulder injury. I, he suffered with a collision in training with Gabriel. Gabriel is a beast of a player. We've seen the clips where he was in Brazil, Brazil, uh, Brazil national team training and the way he actually shoved uh, Henry to the side. So we are wishing Moreno this uh, speedy recovery and back to the team as soon as possible. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm not really concerned. I'm disappointed that I will have to wait extra few weeks. To see Moreno play that midfield, yeah, but it is what I'm not going to blame Calateta or Gabriel or Edwin on this one because it's easy. That is the new thing. Just blame Edwin on everything, blame Arteta, blame you're not ambitious. These things happen, right? Occupational hazards. He has suffered this injury. We have to delay and wait till he recovers and use a few weeks to get match fit. Then we'll see him. And I'm happy we have cover. There's Jorginho there. Uh, Party hopefully stays fit, then we're fine. We are going to be fine. This is not a news that should trigger a lot of Arsenal fans because I've noticed that Arsenal fans love to be triggered. Arsenal fans like to argue on Twitter. Arsenal fans are just notorious for just getting angry for nothing. It's unfortunate. I used to think my youth, my United fans and Chelsea fans were the most ill informed, rambunctious, but unfortunately, I have to treat, I have to treat myself. There is a section. I don't know how large, how minute they are because they are very loud voiced and they make the most noise. They just come on the internet and they are seeking to get triggered and get angry. And we know they get it from the likes of, you know, you know that the content creators who enjoy gaslighting these fans and shouting, Arsenal have to win, we have standards, we have to win a trophy. Nobody say we don't have to win a trophy. We know you have to win a trophy, but there's a process to it. So, guys, calm up, calm down. After international break, you're expecting Jesus and Moreno back with the team. We do not need both players to be able to beat Brighton tomorrow. Like, let's not be silly. 
if we do not get a favorable result against Brighton tomorrow, it is not because of Moreno and Jesus. It's because we did not do our job. We didn't take our chances or we had a poor day at the office. It is not because of these two uh, injuries to our players. So uh, I'm expecting a victory tomorrow. I'm expecting Jesus and uh, Moreno to be back. Even Tomiasu, even the object of Tomiasu is not similarly encouraging. But I wouldn't trust at 100%. If you know, you know. You wouldn't trust Mikel Arteta 100%. So, guys, let me know what you think about this. Are you triggered or you are very rational and you understand these things happen? It's football. It's a contact sport. Training is contact and training can be very competitive. And this can happen. It's not anybody's fault. It is what it is. Uh, on your way out, please like the video. Very, very important. Uh, subscribe if you're new here. And do not forget to turn on your channel. Bell. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.